What am I doing here? I am not a good spy. I don't even look like a royalist. I know they're going to catch me. I just know it. Alt! A British soldier shouted. Nathan stopped walking and turned around slowly. Where are you going? Um, to the bridge, sir. What's your name? Hale gulped and started to tell him, but forgot the name he was supposed to be using. Um, Va Van... Van Dyke, sir. Nathan was dressed as a Dutch schoolteacher and carried a small packet with paper, pens, and ink. In his shoes, he had sketches of the British fortifications in New York and Long Island. He took a deep breath and looked the soldier in the eye. Uh, I really must go, sir. It's getting dark now and I am a bit late. The soldier grinned. You're going to be a lot later now. You'd better come with me. One hour later, Nathan was brought before Sir William Howe, Commander-in-Chief of the British Army in North America. We suspect this man of spying for the rebels. Search him. General Howe ordered. Nathan tried to push his feet together so that they wouldn't search his shoes. It didn't work. They took off his shoes and found the papers. I declare this man a spy and a traitor to the Crown. He will be executed before sunrise tomorrow. But, sir, don't I even get a trial? Why do you need a trial? We know you're guilty. In the early hours of the morning, Nathan called one of the soldiers over to his cell. May I see a, a minister before I die? No. May I have a Bible? No. Can someone deliver these letters to my sisters and my fiancé? The soldier took the letters and threw them into the fire. It's time to go now. Nathan marched slowly to the gallows. After the noose was placed around his neck, he said, You are shedding the blood of the innocent. If I had ten thousand lives, I would lay them down in defense of my injured, bleeding country. I only regret that I have but one life to lose for my country.